Hey guys, welcome back. In this one, we're going to talk about how to apply different slippage and commission models to your algorithm. So let's start out with slippage. And slippage is when a simulation determines the realistic fill of your orders, both in terms of price and in terms of the rate at which the order is filled. To set the slippage model, I'm just going to go set underscore slippage. And then I can pick from the different slippage models. So there's fixed slippage, volume share slippage. You can actually also make custom slippage models, but we're not going to get into that. Uh, and I'm just going to pick the volume share slippage. And what we're going to fill in for our volume share slippage model is the volume limit and the price impact. The volume limit determines the rate at which your orders can be filled by limiting your algorithm to trading only up to a certain fraction of the trading volume in each bar. And then the price impact determines the impact that your order has on your fill price relative to your order price. I'm going to go ahead and set our volume limit to 0.025 or 2.5%. And I'm going to set our price impact to 0.1. This means that our algo can trade up to 2.5% of the trading volume in each bar. And for the price impact, it's a bit of a complicated calculation, so you can go ahead and check it out in the docs. Next, I'm going to use a commission model using set underscore commission. And I'm going to use a per share model. So I'm going to pass commission dot per share and I'm going to fill in a cost of 0.75 cents and a minimum trade cost of $1. This means when I make a trade, I'll be charged 0.75 cents per share with a minimum overall cost of $1 for that trade. And now I'm going to run a full back test. And when I go to the transaction details tab, I can see that my order was filled over two minutes. This is because the number of shares in my order that could fill was limited by the trade volume. This slippage model and this commission model are actually the defaults. So if you don't specify a slippage model or a commission model, these are what will be used. Neither of these are relevant in real money trading because order execution and commission models are determined by your broker. That being said, the default models are pretty realistic, so we recommend that you use them in your simulations.